I wish I could have or figure out how to make a cuter, more aesthetic background than whatever the heck I've always got going on. But got the cat. Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly, and here I like to talk about books, bookish things, and just stuff in general. And today I wanted to talk about, I guess, my spring reading plans. It was just the first of spring a few days ago and what better time to talk about them than at the start of spring. Maybe a little bit before spring but we're gonna do this now. I've got some books here, not a whole lot because I don't want to like overwhelm myself and feel like I have to read them but there are some books that I just I would love to get to and some books that aren't necessarily priorities but like I do want to read them soon, sooner than later. So let's get started. Have a little bit of a note going on here. Yes, so I'll be rehearsing that. But we're going to start with the books that I just really am going to prioritize and try to read this spring probably really soon or as soon as, as I can. The first one I want to talk about on this is Hellbent by Lee Bardugo. I read Ninth House a couple years ago and then for Christmas I asked for Ninth House, the actual physical, because I read it as an audiobook the first time I read it and I really wanted to read Hellbent but I knew I needed to reread Ninth House before I could read Hellbent and I had just reread Ninth House and would have immediately jumped to this if I hadn't had a couple of library books checked out. Um, so I'm finishing up those and then we'll probably get started on Hellbent. Um, if you don't know which Hellbent um, is the second book in the... is it Alex Stern? series is what it's called, um, comes after Ninth House. I really enjoyed Ninth House and I really can't wait to get into Hellbent and see how things play out. Another book on my spring TBR that I'm gonna get to sooner rather than later, because I didn't mean to put it off for this long, is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is a giant book. My brother let me borrow this one. Christmas. He brought this over Christmas. It is end of March and I have yet to pick it up. It's this the second book in the Stormlight Archive with the first book, wow the sliding, um, with the first book being The Way of Kings. I absolutely enjoyed The Way of Kings. It was so good. I'm always terrified to go into a Brandon Sanderson book because he just like, th this is terrifying. How, how thick this thing is, is terrifying. But whenever I do it it's, his writing to me is just so easy to read and I got caught so caught up in like the characters and the stories things there's obviously things that I wasn't like a huge fan of but like really did not detract from my enjoyment of it all but I knew if I went straight into this book I was gonna put myself in a reading slump so I forced myself to read other books and it's just kind of gotten away from me and I am itching itching to like get back into this book and then I can finally text my brother and tell him to give me the third one so that's going to be another one that I'm going to read a lot sooner. And then we're going to the phone knits. Another book that I'd like to get to sooner is going to be Finale by Stephanie Garber. That's the third book in the Caravelle series I'm currently reading through and I think I can finish this um, that series up uh, depending on how long it takes for the library to uh, give me the book because <laughs> um, I'm currently reading Legendary and so far I am enjoying the series which is why I would like to finish it this um, spring and then maybe later this year I can read um, Once Upon a Broken Heart. Caravelle um, is this like magical game that is played and really just whisks people away and we're following two sisters as they kind of play the game and try to solve some life-threatening kind of mysteries things that are happening to them. That seems like a really bad description of the series. But I am enjoying it more than I thought. I am liking Legendary a little bit more than Caravelle, if only because I enjoy reading from Tella's point of view more than I like reading from Scarlett's point of view. But with that said, I am still enjoying it and would really like to uh, finish this series up and read the third one this spring. And then the last book I have on here that I would really like to get to in the spring is um, called In the Weeds by by B.K. Borson. Um, this is the second book in like a little romance small town series. I read the first one, Love Light Farms, 
for because for Christmas around Christmas time um, because that was more like a Christmassy book and I really really enjoyed it. The third act breakup was not my favorite and this like mystery that was happening just was like didn't need to be there but the relationship between our two leads I thought I really enjoyed reading and I really enjoyed the sort of small town aspect of it which I don't typically enjoy in small town romances like small town romances, romances are not usually my thing because I don't like the small town aspect so to speak but this one I enjoyed the small town aspect I really enjoyed the leads and would love to continue this book and then I heard someone say that each book takes place in like a different season and in the weeds is like the second one and I think that's supposed to take place in the spring so I'd like to read it in the spring and like read each book in respective season so yeah I'd really like to get to it um I keep trying to find it at Target because that's where I've seen it before and they just have the first and the third one and not the second one anymore so that said we'll have to find it somewhere else. Those are the four books that I will be kind of prioritizing for the spring but I do have some more books that I would really like to get to, but it doesn't have to be the spring, but maybe this year. And then it freezes. Did this room go there? It's like freeze for a second whenever they go onto it. Mm, this is the one I keep thinking of. It's called The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. I read the Founders Trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett and absolutely love that series. It's so good. It's one of my absolute favorites. Just like anything else, it's not for everyone. I've seen some negative reviews on it, but wow, I was... I loved it. I loved a good, I love a good heist book series and oh, so good. Would recommend. But this one is a new one from him and I hear it described. Almost like a Sherlock Holmes kind of mystery featuring an unforgettable Holmes and Watson style pairing a gloriously labyrinthian plot and the ha a haunting and holy original fantasy world The Tainted Cup really revits a classic mystery tale. Sounds completely up my alley. And I would love to read that sooner than later. But again, not not a spring priority, but it could be a spring read. Another one that I would like to maybe start and get to is going to be Dune uh, by Frank Herbert. Uh, my friend got me this for Christmas and I've been wanting to read it since like the first movie came out and I still haven't watched the first movie, but would love to read the book. And now it sits here on my shelf and I haven't picked it up yet. Another one that I would think I would like to try to get to is going to be Jade City by Fonda Lee. Got this for Christmas, asked for it. I've just heard a lot about it and I have yet to pick it up. It hasn't been like something I've been desiring to pick up but I own it and I want to read the books I own. And then I think the last one that I would like to maybe get to this spring is going to be hard to tell but it's Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, this is one of my favorite books. I have read this many times now. Surprisingly it was one of those books I had to read in high school and I fell in love with the first read and I have loved it ever since. Every time I reread it I get something new from it. I ugh, I love this book and I got myself this really pretty edition of one of my favorite books because I figured I could splurge a little to get a pretty edition and I would like to read said pretty edition and just reread one of my favorite books because it's been a few years since I read it. So yes, those are the books that I would like to read this spring and it kind of makes me excited. I'm really excited to continue reading and it'll be nice because uh, my busy season will be over soon and I will have more time to read. I think I have to do some studying too but mm, that's neither here nor there. Those are books I want to read. If you've read them, let me know what you thought. Um, if you have other books you want to reread in the spring or you think I should pick out this spring, please let me know. I always need to add more books to my Goodreads. Like that is a hobby in itself is adding books to my want to read shelf. That's the video. Let me know what you thought. Let me know about the books, whatever. What are your spring reading plans? Um, and then, yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. I hope it's good. And I will see you with another video at some point soon. Bye.